Well, that stunk. You are about to witness one of the greatest Japanese booster boxes of all time. It is going to be If everyone can hear me, if you could be patient with me for just a second, so sorry. Okay, I think I might be up and running. Guys, so, so everybody knows, I, I am so far from a streamer. I'm not a streamer. I do what I do with my normal videos, but uh, this is not my forte. If you could forgive me, I'm so sorry. I uh, hope I didn't lose so many people in doing that. But uh, I welcome, welcome to the live stream. And uh, I'll go ahead and wait for more people to hopefully funnel in and uh, catch up with chat and everything. So let me take a look and see what do we have in here? I see 86 is now watching. What do we got? Just a fan geek, how are you doing? I haven't talked to you in a bit. Mr. Boy, Toby, what up? A Walls, Unpopular Opinion, Mind G, Trad Hat, Bio Trap Z, Clark, how are you? All right. Victor, what's going on, man? How you doing? Infinite pain. Let me see, Mike is pointing downward and needs to be pointed towards my face. So before I go any further, can y'all just let me know how is, how's my voice right now? Is it off, is it on? All right, so I may have I may have fixed this. Can you let me know now how is the mic? Is it different? Is it better? Is it a whole lot different? Okay. Can you, anybody else? You're having a hard time hearing me? Okay. Thank you so much for confirming that. I am a mess today, and please forgive the startup for this, but we're going to go ahead and kick this straight off. So, again, I'm just going to uh, allow some time for people to chill in here, say hi to some people. Heather, how you doing? Joshua, Clark, Twain, Vincent, JT, welcome. Thanks for the new membership, dude. Lord Chuchikage, how you doing? Mr. Boy, BH, Blood Hero, thank you so much. Congrats on 52K. I can't believe it's already 52K, man. Slow down, people. Slow down. I love it. Too loud. Someone's saying too loud. I'm going to back up. Naturally, I'm typically too loud. All right. Nicholas McDonald, how you doing? Nathan, Jackson, Jack, out. Man, it's so, it's so awesome to be able to see everybody in this chat. I, I recognize so many people from comments and so uh, incredibly awesome to be able to see everybody on a live stream like this. So I see... Already, I'm seeing a few questions pop in that I definitely want to make sure that I can uh, answer and address. So I had some planned questions. I asked everybody to ask them beforehand. I did pick about probably 18 questions total. I, I couldn't end up doing 10 or 15. Some of them were just too good to not miss out on. So I made sure I did that. All right, so before, before I bust in, I want to make sure I say hi to some other people as they're popping in. Uh, let me just say and tell everybody thank you so much much 
for this journey, this growth. It's incredible to think that after like a month, a month and a half, it's already jumping to 50K. And it, it couldn't happen without everybody here. And I love so much to be able to connect to everybody through the videos, uh, through these franchises, through everything that we love. It's such an incredible opportunity to be able to really uh, connect and hang out with everybody. So again, let me take a look at uh, all this. Suno saying 52K, hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. How you doing? Pella Google? Mmm. Some of these names, I swear. You know, when you pick your uh, when you pick your YouTuber account name, you really don't think about people on live stream looking at your name and uh, reading this thing out loud. So some of them are pretty cool. Dylan, let's see. People say I'm you guys have no idea. If you think my mic is picking me up and I'm loud, I'm normally typically ridiculously loud. So I gotta be quiet as it is. My mic might be a little close, but uh, turn your volume down maybe. I don't know. How you doing, M. Kukwan? Toby. Toby from Instagram. How you doing, dude? Carter. Diamante. Marcus Demir. Hey, from Germany. From Germany. Oh my gosh. Marcus, what time is it in Germany? I'm trying to catch up on some of these chats. I'm going to skip down a little bit. Somebody's been here since 35K. Let me hear in the chat. Who here? Who here in the chat has been here since my like 1K, 2K era? Because it took me, it took me one probably a year and two months to grind up to uh, 2,000 subscribers. Anybody here that's been here since those like severely crazy early days? Whoa, I see somebody said hi from Japan. That is crazy. UK gang, hello from India. Uh, Pranav Mathur, hey, I know these people. Woo, 7 a.m. in Indonesia. Alvin, good morning. Good morning, good sir. Me, 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 me. Al Walls, yes. I remember some of these names. Biotap Z, absolutely. Oh my gosh, I remember all this stuff. Mind G, yep, yep, yep. Some of you have been here since, so ever, ever since about probably January, February, things started growing like crazy and I could not be you know, more thankful for that opportunity to see that. But no matter what happens, no matter you know where it goes to, where it grows to, uh, I want to kind of continue to make sure that we do this to keep things kind of on a personal level, make sure that I touch base with everybody. Al Naheen says, hello from Bangladesh. Holy moly, Sweden? 4 a.m. From, uh, from Georgia, from my country. Oh, my gosh, 4 a.m., BH, you are crazy, boy. 5.30 here. Jay, thanks for joining. Thanks for always supporting the channel with memberships. You're awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Call Me Daddy says hi from Poland. All over the world tonight. Where are you guys coming out from? Crazy, 1 a.m. in Portugal and you're spending it with this guy? Crazy. Denmark, 9 p.m. in Brazil. Australia, Philippines. What country is not in this chat right now? Oh my gosh, we got Malaysia coming in. <laughs> That's incredible. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of, uh, really just to kind of kick things off. So I have some things that I have planned, uh, but right now, rather than kind of reading some uh, some hello comments, let me go ahead and um, just hear some, if you have any some questions, don't bombard me, I'll try to grab what I can, but just some kind of random question that you have. Who says, Toby Toe says, I've been here since 2K, I think. I've been gone for a while. Uh, but yeah, let me tell you, go, come back, whatever. Thanks for your support. I remember Toby Toe, oh my gosh, from the beginning. All right, just checking a few things over here. Dylan says, Long Island, Long Island. That is where my wife is from. She, she was originally from a city called Center Reach. Long Island is a crazy place to live. All right. I'm going to see if I can read some questions here and respond to some stuff. Tyler says, you were here on my first day of starting YouTube. It was rough back then, huh? Huh? Let's see. 
Vincent found me at the beginning of quarantine. Well, I hope it's been a fun journey, man. It is, uh, quarantine life is pretty crazy. Lord Suchikage with the $4 super chat. He says, welcome to the best statue channel on YouTube, everybody. Thank you so much. You know, I, I would never, uh, the best, I don't know, uh, Maybe the most fun, the most enjoyable. I swear, it's uh, it's so much fun to make content for everybody on this channel. The endless amount of support, the fun comments, how intuitive you guys, how much you enjoy the hobby. So many of you want to get into it. So many of you are already neck deep into it. And it's fun to kind of engage with everybody on those all different levels. It's so cool. Lord Suchikage, thank you so much. I can't wait to unbox and showcase the statue that goes along with your name. It's going to be fantastic. IZ Studio Suchikage coming in. Uh, soon. Whoa, look at all them. Oh my gosh. I love the emojis. Let's see. Uh, somebody says, can you give me an update on the five Kage statue? When will they arrive? So Suche Kage is just now delivering. Mizu Kage is just finishing production. So she'll be shipping soon. And then after that is the Rai Kage. He's not even made yet. And then Gara, and then Tsunade. So honestly, it's going to be probably uh, 2021 before that's even done. Maybe even mid-2021. So the, uh, the Tsunade... They, the um, Kage one is going to be great. Toby, hee hee. Thank you so much, Toby, for the super chat. It says CA1. I'm going to guess that's Canadian. Is that Can Are you from Canada? Thank you so much for that. Somebody says, what's my, what's my wallpaper? Um, if you're talking about the wallpaper from my first collection showcase video, you can always hit me up on Instagram and I will share it with you because I cannot find it again. When I was a kid, what did you do? Uh, what did you want to be when you when you grew up? What I wanted to be, I wanted to be a mascot when I grew up, actually. <laughs> I told myself I wanted to be a mascot. And then I wanted to be a photographer. And then I wanted to be a chef. And it turns out I'm none of them, basically. But uh, thank goodness I didn't become a mascot. That's really hot. Uh, I do like to cook. Let's see. Didn't buy the full... I did buy the Full Metal Alchemist statue. They're just not shipping it. It's in France. It's stuck over there. They don't want to ship it until later. Kinlay, thank you so much for the 199 Super Chat. Look at him. He's calling me by my real name. Keep it up, Brian. <laughs> thank you so much. For those of you that don't know, it's not Bam. It is Brian. Uh, I don't mind sharing that, but uh, it's... it's uh, For those of you that didn't know, Bam, Brian, whatever you want to call me. It'll work like that. Thank you so much. Let's see, Vegeta Play says, can you start buying Dragon Ball statues? The answer to that is pretty much no. You want to know why? Is I try to stick to a lane. Now, I have really good friends that lend me their statues, but if I bought statues from tons of other franchises, I would honestly go broke. And the most important issue I have is space. You run out of space. I'm constantly having to buy and sell and recycle, but anytime I can get a DBZ statue, which we're going to have some really epic ones coming up later this year, we will have them. So absolutely. Like the shirt. Oh, I gotta, you know, I gotta say something special here. So this shirt, I don't know if you can see it. Dragonite is is one of my favorite Pokemon. So that is gonna be uh, Dratini here, and you got Dragonite behind him. And one, uh, my my mod who's not in here, he actually sent me two T-shirts. He surprised me and sent these to me. Oh my gosh, did that make me day? So I get statues for myself and collectibles, and I enjoy it. Uh, but somebody sending me a T-shirt on their own dime. I can't even tell you how thankful I was for that. So this is like, this shirt is incredible. I can't wait to do it. I'm gonna have an unboxing come out soon uh, that's gonna kind of lend towards uh, this right here. So I'm excited about that one. Clark says, can I read? Who is he talking to? Can I read? Can you read? I don't know, can you? JT, love the shirt. Thank you so much, man. I'm so thankful. I guess it's somebody gave this to me, so I'm so thankful for it. Let's see. If you are depressed and think of giving up on life, don't. We love you and care about you and your family as well. Do never, never give up, guys. Uh, you know, it's stuff that I would never get to on chat, but I had a pretty, um, pretty not so good childhood. And uh, don't give up, man. That's, that's not it. You know, make your own path, do your own thing, and uh, you make your decisions for your future. What's your Fortnite ID? Oh man, I'm not. I don't play Fortnite anymore. I did with my uh, with my nephew for a while, but I I am an Apex Legends player. That's what I do on the side. I pretty much am playing Final Fantasy VII Remake and Apex Legends is what I do with my nephew. He's way better than I am, but uh, he tags me along. I do pretty much okay on there. But Let's see, Silver says, "What's my favorite statue?" I'll answer that sometime later on. I'm pretty sure it's going to come up again, but I'll answer that. 
Radio Active says, I'm getting into collector's game and I just bought my first expensive Dragon Ball Z figure. Hopefully it turns out good. I am so curious. Radio Active, what, what did you buy? I'd like to hear it in chat, some of the things that people do. When will be the next episode of Authentic versus Recast? I am waiting on something to come in. I think it got lost in the mail, so it might be delayed. But I won't give away what it is. But I already have something prepared as long as it's going to come in. All right. I play Apex Legends on PlayStation 4. That's what I do. What's my most expensive figure? I'll answer some of those things, some about the statues later. Kind of answer some one-off things before we go there. Speaking of Fonsi Sound, is that a cloud statue behind me? Is that a cloud? That is that is a cloud from the special edition. Ugh. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep it because you know, sometimes I buy collectibles and I think to myself, like, oh, this doesn't fit in my collection. Impulse, shouldn't have done it, might sell it. I don't know, but I love it too much. It's kind of just it's chilling there as a placeholder until uh, my next bulk comes in, which let me tell you, the next bulk shipment that's coming in, it's going to be ridiculous. It's on its way. Two to three weeks. Two to three weeks it's going to be coming in. Can't wait. Where, let's see. The best place. Vegeta Play says, where where are the best places to buy statues? Anybody that's asking where is the safest, you know, best place to buy statues, ask me off chat in a comment. I will share all the time. I'll say it once right here. And, you know, if you don't hear it, sorry. Uh, but it's going to be uh, One Piece Collector, Favor GK, Games Animation Collectibles, and another site called Dreams of Animes is another one that's a fantastic place. So those are the four that I'm aware of. I know the owners. I could totally back them. But that's what I'm going to recommend to anybody. But ask me any other time, and I'll comment on videos. So let me see Let me see who else is in chat. Who haven't I seen? We have 140 people in chat. What? That is incredible. So who have I not had a chance to say hi to? Um, who's in here? Suno Sand didn't see it. I know I said hi to Biotab Z. Mustafa, Toby's at Shellness Ellie. Let's see. I always say, I want to say Shellness, but I, I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong because I remember every time you watch your videos, it's pronounced a certain way and I can't remember. Let me see. Can't stay for long, but congrats on the video. Uh, thank you so much. So, anybody that's in chat, as I always would do, this is a fellow content creator. You'll see him in here, Shellness Ellie, and he is doing a fantastic job of trying to grow his channel with statues, anime reviews. Check him out after the stream, if you don't mind, and uh, support him. He's a really, really kind, nice guy, and I look forward to seeing him grow. Let's see. What fight would you pay to watch on Naruto? I think somebody asked that in one of the, uh, the later questions. So let's wait on that one. Do I think... See, do you think you... I will definitely buy a PlayStation 5. Uh, we got to just wait and see if it's going to be sooner or later. I don't usually like to buy consoles when they first come out. Because uh, then it ends up... Sometimes they get bugs. And I don't really appreciate them. Beastie Boys in the house! What up, dude? Welcome to the stream! See, great chopper statue on uh, Dreams of Anime. Cryptic Soup, true anime guy, what's going on? Yo, he says, yo, yo. Reminds me, when somebody does that, it reminds me of the, um, the Jiraiya thing when it's like, yo. Shipping is even more than the statue's price. That is kind of the unfortunate circumstance that we're in right now with everything that's going on around the world is shipping prices are more expensive. So for anybody that doesn't know, let me break this down real quick. So when they're shipping stuff out of China, they typically do it on boats. And right now they're exporting so much that there's not as much room on the boats that there used to be before the issue that's going around the world. And so those slots on the boats that they normally do sell to people to ship stuff, they're not there anymore. So they're more expensive to be able to fit stuff on boats now. And so that's why shipping is just more expensive because China is exporting so much stuff. And that's why me shipping in that bulk method I way I do, it saves so much money because it's, uh, it's just one giant stuff on a pallet rather than individual stuff. But it's so rough. So let me uh, let me go ahead and uh, come. I might be skipping a few things, but I'm going to catch up on chat a little bit. <sighs> Beastie Boy with the 4.99 super chat. Thank you so much. He says, 
Can't wait for these answers to these questions. Congrats, and thank you so much. Uh, you are an, an awesome support to the channel. Uh, great guy. Thank you so much. I love answering questions for everybody. I wish I could stop, pause, and answer every single one, but I miss some. Uh, do never never take it personal, and I'm sorry if I do. I'm trying to catch it. It's a solo gig here. Sometimes I wish I would hire my wife to come down here and help me out, stuff that I missed, but uh, she's right now, she's taking care of my daughter, and if I could say thank you to anybody, most importantly, it's her. She allows me to do this. Uh, has the free time and uh, and I'm so thankful for her support in this hobby. But thank you so much for that super chat, Beastie Boy. Really appreciate it. Uh, how do let's see? Chill Cube says, "How do you record your videos? All on my phone. Every single bit of it. Now it is an iPhone Pro, so it's it's got a lot of good specs to it. But that's how I do everything on my phone. I have a microphone and I have some studio lights in the back that are like umbrella lights." But that's, uh, that's, I keep my, my setup pretty simple, but I do it very intentionally. So although my videos might seem simple, um, it's very intentional. My editing process is a little complex and I try to make it as just clean and slick as possible and transitions good uh, so that you, you, know, you stay engaged. Nobody wants to watch somebody struggle to put a statue together, right? You ever seen a video where somebody like, they're spending two or three minutes on trying to get a piece in? It's like, who wants to see that? You wanna see it nice? Go on, connect, it's good to go. That's what I try to do with everybody when they when they do that, so. Let's see. I'll, I'll go ahead and answer this one. What fight would you pay to watch in Naruto? I'm gonna have to think about that. I saw that question before, and that's a tough one to be able to answer. Um, it would definitely have to be like Orochimaru versus somebody, because Orochimaru is that person that has like endless aces up his sleeve with weird stuff so i don't know who who let me let me hear in chat who would you pit against aruchimaru to be the most entertaining battle who would you i want to hear that in chat let you guys answer it uh let's see kenzu says hey love your channel and you never fail to make my day congrats on 50k and keep uploading i have been feeling happy lately and i want you to know you helped me through the day Thank you so much. It's my privilege. I don't know how that happens, but I'm just going to keep on doing it because it's amazing to attract awesome people like you that enjoy that kind of content. Thank you so much for that kind of feedback. Let's see. What are your statue collecting tips? Oh, that's so much to answer on chat. Uh, statue collecting tips. My first and foremost, don't buy statues on debt. Pay cash for stuff. That's one of my first tips. Slowly but surely. Don't start with ginormous and big stuff. Sometimes you might start with, you know, a, a $20 figure, $50 figure, $100 figure. Start slow. That's kind of my initial tip that I could tell anybody is this, everything that I have, it was not gotten in a day. I've been collecting for 10 to 15 years. And that's how it kind of grows over time is, uh, is you committing to something. So uh, start slow and make sure you do it within your budget. Absolutely. Who is up here? Kane says, happy wife, happy life. Heck yeah, man. Let me see. Somebody says, uh, the Kinetic Lord. Hey, by the way, uh, you made me buy the Shisui statue, and I freaking love it, and my favorite character of all time. Which uh, which Shisui did I send, or did you end up buying? Be curious about that. Um, let's see. I'm one of you says, I got to go. Catch you on the replay. See ya. Hi. Morning, guys. Isolation. Good morning. How are you? Somebody says, Al says, play Warzone. I... I want to. It's very difficult for me to get into games because it takes me a while to truly like get the mechanics and learn it and be good at it. Um, Warzone's kind of on the menu, but Mr. Boy says, hey, Bam, my mom is sick and I don't like it and I'm sad uh, that she is. Can I get prayers so that she can get better? Absolutely, we can. If you could let me know. Actually, you know what, Mr. Boy? We will. I will absolutely do it. And heck, maybe by the end of the stream, we'll do that. Uh, no good when uh, when anybody's sick like that and it's really affecting you. So sorry to hear that. Uh, Cryptic Soup says, how often do I clean my statues? I clean my statues probably every six months and I do it with a, a special duster tool, which is over there, I won't get it. But if you check the descriptions of my videos, I have these Amazon links to these awesome products uh, that you can use as a collector. Uh, check that out if you haven't. And anytime that you use those links to order something on Amazon, it, it helps the channel out so great. So check that out. That's what I use to dust my stuff. Uh, let's see, Gotham Gamer says, congratulations on 50K, congratulations, I'm so happy, it's, it's been such an incredible, that hitting that milestone was, uh, it, it's surreal, unreal, see, do I play Ninja Storm, I used to play Ninja Storm, love Ninja Storm, don't play it, you gotta tell us your childhood one day, man, I kinda uh, g gave up on life, and sometimes I wonder why didn't others, um, that is a uh, complicated thing, maybe one day, maybe one day, where do you get all, 
somebody says, where do I get all my money? I, I work a job, but I'll, I'll be the first to tell you and I need to make a video on it someday. I don't, I don't use my income to pay for statues. Uh, what I do is I'm, I'm constantly in a state of like buying statues and selling statues and, and sometimes making money off them, sometimes not. And just like over time, you kind of just get enough money to where the hobby funds itself. But we'll talk, let me know in chat if, if that's something you'll be interested in hearing kind of like how I afford the hobby. I don't know if that would make a good video for anybody that would want to hear that because it's, it's, it's not through being rich or having this, you know, enormously amazing job that I do that. I'm thankful for the job that I have, but that's not how I can kind of stay in this hobby. But, you know, let me know. All right, so I'm looking, finally catching up with these chats. Ooh, Aruchiwara versus Itachi. Can I say this? Itachi in his, you know, without him being sick. Itachi versus anybody. I don't know many people that would be able to get, beat him with the tools that he has. I think Itachi is one of the strongest shinobi in the whole, whole Naruto universe. But I, let me know what you think about that. I guess him versus Madara would be pretty crazy, but... See, just put you on. <laughs> Beastie Boys got me on a 4K TV. I don't know if I want to see this mug on a 4K TV. Let me know if it breaks, all right? If it breaks, it's not my, well, it might be my fault, but I don't know. Hey, I forgot I put my Zabaza statue here. This is one of my favorite statues of all time. This is my one of my earliest statues, and this is actually an answer to a question that somebody asked. But, uh, oh my gosh, it's already 8.30. I guess I had some technical difficulties, so um, I'll go ahead and, if you guys are good, I'm going to kind of, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna pull away from chat for a little bit, and I'm going to begin to answer some questions that were asked to me, kind of the filtered ones, and I'm going to uh, talk about the giveaways that we're going to do, and I'll announce the moderator one uh, kind of towards the end of everything, but um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of transition to um, answering some of these questions that you guys asked me beforehand. So I'm going to answer something for you. So uh, M. Kwan says uh, he's addicted to Zabuza. Do, do you want to know? Let me know in chat. Do you want to know why I'm addicted to Zabuza? Do you want to know why I love Zabuza so much? Tell me. I, I'm going to leave it to you guys. If you don't want to know, you don't want to know. But I'll wait. I got one. Uh, I guess if only one person wants to know, I'm not going to. I won't worry about it. It's not that big a deal. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. We have some more. Okay. All right. All right. Calm down. All right. I'll tell you. All right. Here's here's the deal. When I first started to watch Naruto, what I did is I would go... To, oh, there's a lot of... Okay. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. So when I first started watching the show, oh my gosh, like 17 years ago, maybe 17, 18 years ago. Crazy to think about that. But... When I first started watching the show, I used to go to anime shops and I used to buy, this is, and this is how I used to make money. I used to buy collectibles from there and I would buy them for like 20, 30 bucks and they would be selling on eBay for like 50 or 60. And so I constantly went to this anime shop, bought certain collectibles, priced them on eBay and I'd go back home, write it down, come back. Cause back then we didn't have iPhones to check things live. And, and so I would go to the shop, buy the stuff, sell it online, make money. And that's how I was constantly making money as a kid. So that's how I started off some stuff like this is doing simple stuff like that. But one day I was not, I never watched Naruto ever. One day they slipped in a VHS. Yes, a VHS. And it was of the first nine episodes of Naruto. And back then, didn't have a driver's license and had some money, but I was buying other things like Marvel Legends and uh, Zoids uh, model kits. So I was, uh, I got this VHS. They snuck it in my bag with all these figures. And so I popped it in and I didn't know what it was and I gave it a watch. Episodes one through nine. And I fell in love. So if you don't recall the first episodes of Naruto, obviously uh, Zabuza is the main antagonist, and it kind of gets to the point right where um, you know I think there, there's the there's the Demon Brothers, and then um, what is it going to? Then Zabuza shows up, sword in the tree, fights Kakashi, Haku. Um, he hits him with a needle and then knocks him out. Or send bone, send bone. Anyway, some of the first episodes that I watched, it was episodes one and nine of Naruto. And I had that VHS. That's all I watched of the series of Naruto for three months. Three months, that's all I had of the show. And I watched it like 30 times. So I built this strong, deep connection for Zabuza, wanting to know who he was, you know, how he was taken out so easily, who Haku was. And so that's why Zabuza is one of my most loved uh, characters. But so 
Nicholas says, dude, Zoids. Yeah, man, I love Zoids. Oh my gosh, I still love Zoids. So anyway, Zabaza, that is why. I hope that story was maybe enjoyable, but uh, but that's why. Pedro Torres, hello. Kenzu, nostalgia. Oh my gosh, yes. Who's this? The uh, the Vagary Channel. Naruto is something that we just can't forget. You are right about that. Let me tell you. Who says this? HG Salsa says, hi, I found your channel after the real versus uh, recast of Zabaza. Um, order for the recast. When is the next real verse? I already answered that one uh, before. That's okay though. Um, I have one on the way and hopefully it didn't get lost in the mail. Uh, but I have another one planned. Hopefully within the next month, I'd love to do another one. So, dude, Beastie Boy, you know about Zoids too? It's so good. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pop over. Who just got here? Uh, Beastie Nuts Games. Sup, dude? What's up? Harley's in here. My thoughts on Boruto. Woo! I don't know if I want to invest my time on that. Uh, Boruto, Boruto is growing. Um, it's not where I'd like it to be. Uh, there's a lot of fillers. And honestly, they need to stop stepping on and spinning on characters that you know took years and years to build up in the Naruto series. It's like they're disrespecting them. So I have a very difficult time jumping into Boruto. Certain episodes I've seen, I think it's good. Animation good. But uh, I, there's certain things that need to be changed before I can like fully connect to it. See, all right. See, Chili Cube says, thoughts on Pokemon? Pfft, love it. Always, forever, probably. When I'm an old man, I'll be playing Pokemon games because I love it. Let's see, let's see, the strongest. I did not play OPM the strongest. Ooh, Demon Slayer, Slayer statues. They're going to be coming soon. They're going to be coming soon. Do, uh, BH says, do I like action figures? I love action figures. Oh my gosh, that's my roots. That's where I grew up. I love them. And uh, and I, I, um, I don't know. I... I'll never get away from from loving and appreciating uh, figures, even though I enjoy statues. They have a lot more value. But okay, all right. Before we do this, I'm going to jump over, okay, and uh, go to my my notes here. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna be in chat, so I can't see chat right now. If you are chatting and I'm ignoring you, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm gonna be reading some of these questions. So first off, uh, Lord Suchikage said, "Why did I get into anime?" And I have to say, honestly, it was just a natural progression. So I grew up with like Spider-Man and X-Men, which are more cartoons, I guess you would say. And we, I think Dragon Ball Z was one of the first shows I saw. And Zoids was another one. Zoids was an interesting show because it was a mixture of 2D and 3D where they had the hand-drawn stuff and they had the 3D Zoids. So I got into that. And, uh, and slowly over time, I really... I think it was Dragon Ball Z that I fell in love with first. And then when they snuck that VHS in, you know, it was Naruto from that day on. And obviously some other franchises. But I'm going to jump down. Beastie Boy, he said, he asked, who would win in a fight, Zabuza or the Green Ranger? No Zords. I love this question. It's fantastic. So Zabuza or the Green Ranger? I'm going to have to say Zabuza because as soon as he used his hidden miss jutsu, it, you know, Green Ranger's going to lose all visibility. He doesn't have anything special going on with him that's going to help him navigate through that and the guillotine sword. So I'm going to say Zabaza, hands down, is going to win that story. He also asked if I could have made a story arc on any Naruto characters, who would it be and what would happen? So I couldn't get the second part, what would happen, but I would have loved to seen more of the three Sanin when they were younger. Uh, that would have been incredible. So Jiraiya, Uruchimaru, Tsunade. I wish we could have gotten more. The moments that we got to see them kind of during that when they were in war and there was, uh, was it Hanzo the Salamander? Um, that I would love to have seen more of them in that era when he was, you know, with the um, the Hidden Rain and the kids there and helped them raising up Nagato. And um, so anyway, that's why I would love to see more, more of that arc. Uh, Travis Davis asked, what is my favorite statue from the Naruto series? I think my favorite statue, one of my favorites that I own, it's not epic, but it's the statue of Naruto and Jiraiya sitting back to back. That's one of my favorite statues. It's very serene, very peaceful, and has nice memories. Uh, he also asked, what type of display case shelves would you recommend for a growing collector? Uh, I, when I first started this channel, one of my early videos is how to build a display case. If you want to know how to do that, check it out on my, my channel. Might not be a lot of people that know about that, but I taught people how to build a display case from scratch off of an Ikea PAX case. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Let me jump back over to chat real quick, see if anything's going on. Did you miss... We are up to, okay. All right, so I'm going to jump in, and I have some more questions. 
Somebody asked, do I have a day job? Yes, I have a day job. Yeah, YouTube is not uh, all that I do, not at all. I, I definitely couldn't afford all this stuff if that was it. But I do have a full-time job, and I do this with my free time when I can. And other than that, just spending time with family and playing games. Uh, so somebody also asked, how many statues do I have? How many statues do I have? I wish you wouldn't have asked that because I've never actually counted them. 85 statues. 85. Now, keep in mind. That does include smaller ones. So I have like a bunch of tiny Pikachu statues. That's like seven or eight of them. So those do count. So it's not all 85 big ones, but I'm not gonna act like that's a small number. I wish you wouldn't ask me. Uh, hello, Yasumi said, do you have any recommendations as to where to buy authentic statues? Like I said before, always ask me in uh, my videos and I'll share it with you. And somebody asked me, have I been keeping up with Boruto series? What's my thoughts on it? I think we kind of talked about that before, uh, so I won't touch that. Banana Man the God asked, is there any significance to the name of my channel or was it just spontaneous? It took me like a week to figure out what to call my channel. Oh my goodness. That, I don't know why. It's like creating a character in a new game. You spend like an hour doing it and you hardly ever see the thing. Uh, but... Obviously, a name for a YouTube channel is important. Uh, BAM is my initials. So that is how I came up with BAM collectibles. And my whole life, I've always loved my initials because it's just like BAM. There was a, a skateboarder named BAM. And there's a, a famous chef who has a tagline that says BAM. And so I always love that. Uh, do I enjoy the Ninja Storm games? Absolutely. Yes, I do. And let me jump down here real quick. Check chat. Oh man, 135 people in here still. Oh my gosh, thank you for sticking around. So I'm gonna, soon enough, I'm gonna be announcing, I said, you know, I'm gonna pick two comments uh, who, people that asked the most interesting questions to me, ones that I enjoyed the most. And so I'm gonna be picking those very soon. <laughs> Isolation's got the Kakashi big lips <laughs> emoji going on. <laughs> Uh, oh, I just saw this uh, question out here. Trad Hat says, do I play Pokemon Go? On and off, not consistently, but I play it with my brother sometimes when I see him. Oh, that's an interesting question. True Anime Guy says, do you wish you could make YouTube your full-time job? That would be incredible. I would do a, a lot of different things on the channel if I could do that. Not just unboxings, a lot more vlogs, make things a little bit more personal, but it's really difficult to have time for that when you're working you know, a 40-hour job you know, during the week. But man, that would be a dream come true. I don't know if that'll ever happen. I'll still be here to hang out with you guys and enjoy that journey, enjoy collecting together. Let me let me uh, jump back over to the, the pre-asked questions. Matthew Pace said, what piece of advice would you give someone who is either looking to start collecting or filming like I do? As I said before, start small, stay within your budget. And um, you know, I, I think you should, do a lot of research before you start YouTube and different styles, you know, try things out on your own. Don't just start and come out with a video. You know, YouTube 2020 is very different. People expect a level of quality. Be sure that you can hopefully bring something to that level. Uh, so that's kind of mini what I would say. What would I say is the most rewarding part of what I do? Y you, hold up a mirror to yourself. If you want to answer that question, what's the most uh, rewarding part of what I do? Just hold a mirror up. It's you guys. It's it's you. I'm sorry. Say you guys, you girls, everybody uh, that I get to interact with and hang out with and chill with. You're the reason why this is so enjoyable. Other than that, this is just a hunk of resin and art and painted and and you know money put into an object. That's that's all this is. It's all about relationships and people and enjoying one another and sharing this journey together. You know, I tell people that. Uh, but that's, I mean it, that's the most rewarding part. So Fizz Guy asks, what's your favorite fight in all of Naruto? It, it's tough to say exactly, but I have, to, I have to probably pin it at, I really loved when I was younger, um, Hiruzen versus Aruchimaru, the third Hokage versus Aruchimaru. That was one of the most epic fights I ever saw back then. It was probably the most memorable ones. Uh, Shinpuden has some amazing ones, but that's one of my favorite. That's a really tough thing to, to check. So let me jump over and, whoa! I am being told by the tube of you that Viviac has joined memberships as a tuning. Welcome to memberships. If anybody ever has any questions about that, let me know. But welcome to memberships. There's a whole other aspect of the channel, and I'm going to be continuing to grow that over time. But welcome, and thank you for that decision to do that. Oh, Thick Boy says, do I like Attack on Titan? Absolutely. I love Attack on Titan. Uh, season, new season coming out soon, right? Do, oh, somebody says, do I have a Haku statue? Yup, it's sitting right up there and it's not being showcased until my Zabaza, new Zabaza statue comes in this next bulk shipment. Be ready. All right, let me jump back over to these questions real quick. And this, uh, let's see. 
This next one is actually going to be one of the winners. So you're going to have to contact me. Hopefully you're either live on here. I don't know if I saw you but or catch you on the after. It's uh, Brianna Blankenship asked, what is my favorite clan in Naruto? I like that question a lot. And, uh, and so here's what we're going to go with. It's kind of two, and they're not the ones you probably would expect. Obviously, Uchiha, Senju are some of the coolest clans out there, right? But uh, what is my favorite clan? Uh, Aburami and Inuzuka clan. The the bug clan and the ones that use the ninkan, the uh, the dogs, all right? So those are going to be the two favorite clans that I have. I wish we got to see more, more about Kiba and Shino. And I love that one individual. Let me know in chat because I'm going to forget his name. That one individual under Donzo that like covered himself in the purple all throughout his skin. That was one of the coolest. You kind of got to see a, a high level version of Shino. That was incredible. But anyway, you are the winner. And I'm going to let you select since you are the first one on here. You can contact me. Let me know. So I'm going to be doing either, let me know I have like probably 10 different Funko Pops that you could choose from, or I have this, this Naruto poster right here. I don't know if you can see this, all of it, but this is awesome. So I have a poster that I'm going to give out. Uh, so that is the winner of that. It's a really high quality poster. You've got so many different characters in there. So you let me know which one you want and let me jump back over to chat and see where are you in here? Are you in here? I'm not seeing it, so we'll have to uh, catch up with you later. Ooh, I, I want to I wanna answer this. I see Star, Star Toys Collectible says, Who do you think would be the best spar for Goku and Vegeta? I would say the Raikage or um, Minato, the fourth Hokage. That's what I think would be the, the good sparring partner. All right. Real quick, any thoughts on My Hero Academia? It's amazing. I got to catch up on it. I, I, I haven't watched it all, but from what I've seen, I love it. All right, so dun, 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 dun. let me jump back over to the questions real quick. Kane27, these are the prepared questions. Kane27 said, what made you want to start uh, making YouTube videos? So there's somebody else on YouTube that does videos similar to how I do them, and I watch them. And I near fell asleep. And I thought to myself, this this has to be able to be done better. And so I wanted to give it a try and see what I could do. And I didn't think it would actually amount to something, but you guys have made it happen. But that was my inspiration, actually seeing somebody, somebody do it in a way that was not as enjoyable and trying to see if maybe I could do it in an enjoyable way. And also says, also, how old were you when I started watching Naruto and other animes uh, that I loved? I was about... Um, 13, 14, 15, if I recall. So I have uh, another, this is the second one, another winner here, and I hope I don't go off into a too much of a tangent here, but the second winner for comment is Nemo, and it says, what do you think the next big thing for consumer statues will be? New lights, other technology, use of magnets to make statues afloat. So you are the winner. I love this question. You're the second winner of this. Again, uh, well, depending on what the other person picks, you can either have this poster or, like I said, I have some awesome Funko Pops. I have some. I have Naruto running. I have Kakashi here. Uh, I have Naruto Stage of Six Pass, Glow in the Dark. I have uh, Boruto. Let me see. Mitsuki. Uh, Sarada. So if you want to pick those, you can let me know. Uh, but what do I think is going to be next? I'm going to pop over to chat while I'm answering this one. Let's see if anything's going on. Whoa! Hold on. Before I get to that question, Candy Cane Bar, welcome to the Kage! What? We got another Kage in the house. Incredible. Thank you so much for joining memberships. If you have any questions as you join, hit me up in some of the other. Uh, there's some special uh, membership community posts for individuals that do memberships. And if you ever have any questions, you have anything, man, hit Hit me up there, and uh, and we'll we'll go ahead and address that. But welcome to memberships. That is so exciting. I see two of you guys there. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, but okay, so what? Where do I think statues are going? Anybody can make a statue these days. Statues are not that complicated to make, actually. But it's all about the details. The certificate of authenticities, uh, the lights, the features. There is a Naruto that I'll be showcasing in the very near future where his Rasengan spins. It's on a motor and it spins. It's incredible. And the LED lights. But where I think we're going to go with statues is it's going to continue to be about that small stuff, those little details, those things that you can uh, bake into a statue. Maybe like, um, so for instance, do you guys you remember this? Remember this little Kurama that was made? That right here, this stuff 
is what matters. This little small stuff that comes with the statues, keep on doing amazing stuff like that. Can he sit on top of here? I don't know, can I do it? Yeah, all right, Karama's gonna stay there. He looks fitting. So we're gonna leave him there. But that's where I think the future of statues uh, is gonna be. So in a minute, let me see. All right, so I'm going to continue answering a few of these questions before I move on. Uh, John uh, Pamales says, as a collector, I'm sure you save all your original boxes for all my statues. Where do you store your boxes? That is an amazing question as well because um, you got to have space for that. So I know some people pay money to rent a storage, not this guy. Right behind me, behind this wall, is a very good sized storage area. And I'm so thankful to have that space and I store all my boxes back there. Let me know in chat if if you would love to see my storage area one day, huh? See how you, cause you see all this stuff, right? The the glorious setup, but you don't see the uh, the boxes. Would you like to see that one day? Let me. I'm curious about that. I'll jump over in uh, in just a minute and check it out. All right, so. Uh, Christian Sanchez, uh, another question was asked to me is what statue uh, started everything for me? So the, my first statue uh, was of Shikima, uh, Shikimaru behind me, but this statue right here is a statue that sold me on falling in love with resins is this one. So I wanted to bring it out just to showcase. And uh, and then he asked, what statue have I always wanted but can't seem to track down and get my hands on? I honestly can't answer that because I don't want to say I get everything I want because I don't. There's a lot that I want that I don't get. But if there's ever something I really want, I have the ability to network with people and have them find it. Jim, your boy, says, do you regret buying any statue? Yes, I regret buying at least five or six statues, and I would love to make a video on that sometime. And what is my favorite statue company? It is Surge Studio. That is my favorite statue company. In just a minute, I'm going to wrap this up as far as wrap up these questions and then jump back over to chat so we can talk and chill. And then uh, and soon, we'll go ahead and announce the Madara um, who won that. Uh, see, Drummond says, if I could revive any character from, the, from Naruto, which one would you pick? I thought about that, and there's nobody because you know I thought to myself, would I want to have Jiraiya uh, revived? Because that's the first person that came to mind, and the answer is no. You know, he had the perfect death in the show; it impacted so much, and his legacy lived on so greatly. I would not want him revived, so I couldn't think of anybody because everybody that I would wanted to did get revived. Let me see. What is my thoughts on uh, Kazuna Relation Statue Series made by Figu Arts Zero? I think they are fantastic pieces of art. And, and, and so if you are looking to start smaller and cheaper than resin statues, start with stuff like that. They're incredible. They do such a great job with that. Uh, Mega House does some good stuff as well. Uh, the username Shorty asked, how do you stay up to date with new statues uh, so you can get them before they sell out? Those websites that I've said, uh, One Piece Collector, Favor GK, GAC, Dreams of Animes. Check those sites on a daily basis if you need to and uh, and refresh it and see what you got. And uh, Pranav Mathur said, at what age would you allow your kids to, to watch anime? Probably th around the age of 12, 13. You know, it depends on what it is. But Naruto, probably 12, 13. I think 13 would be an, an okay age for that. So now I'm going to jump back over to chat. And uh, now I'm going to be paying attention more and seeing what's going on here. All right, Girl Power says, what's your most expensive statue you've ever bought? Oh, it was $900. I'll admit to you, it was $900. And it's one of the Sanin. Go ahead, take a guess at who it was. But I had it on pre-order for $400, and they lost my pre-order, and I had to get it somewhere else. And it hurt a lot. Hurt a lot. But uh, that's that was my... Oh, it was... It was so expensive. I that is it's bad. Somebody says only nine hundred. Yeah, I don't buy Prime One or XM stuff. Uh uh. Nope. I don't do that. Those are too expensive for my blood. You can get the you can get two or three Naruto statues for the price of some of those uh you know the, the comic or hero characters out there. Somebody says Aruchimar, Aruchimar, nope, nope, nope. Uh nope. Mmm. Sees. Average good gamer, how are you? He says, question one, what was your first anime you watched? What got you into anime? Uh, what are you in? Uh, see, what got you into statue collecting? I'm just going to answer. It Honestly, it was it was Dragon Ball Z. That was the first one I watched. And it's nowhere near my favorite because I think the story um, can get pretty similar over time. You know, right? So you have 
the uh, the bad guy that comes in, and then then you have the good guy. Bad guy stronger than the good guy, and then good guy gets stronger, and then bad guy gets stronger, and then good guy gets stronger at the back, and then it happens again. Then you you know rinse and repeat. And so the story seemed a little repetitive for me. The depth wasn't there as much for me. I still like it, um, but Naruto is a lot more deeper and complex. So that's why I like that one so much more. How would you like your Susano to look like? Color. Characteristics and weapons says uh, Brayan. Oof, that is tough. How about? Um, so I've always liked the idea of this thing called like a concealed grip of how you hold like a weapon. And I'm gonna see if I can do this real quick. So we're gonna we're gonna mess with Zabaza. Um, actually, I can't take him off. All right. So it's when you hold a blade like this, and it's kind of behind you. I would love him to use like dual versions of those on the back and let's see I'd probably like it to be the color green if I could that would be fantastic so dual dual blades on the sides like this that he can use and kind of swing like that and mm, never mind I'm gonna stick with uh, I'm gonna stick with actually blue blue Susano funny fun questions you guys are fun and let's see Thick Boy says, do you like free uh, Watobi Swim Club? Nope, never heard of it. Sorry, never heard of it. Uh, the Zabaza is like the project statue. See, it's like the, that, the Zabaza, oh my gosh, this statue is so perfect. Got all the dogs the way it is. I, I did a review on this in a while ago. I love it. Um, what's my favorite jutsu, says Rose Mary. I love puppet jutsu. I love it so much. And in chat, I don't know if they're still in here, uh, but just a fan geek I uh, did some incredible art that I do plan on sharing eventually. I shared it before, but of uh, of me as a puppet a puppet user. That was incredible. Thank you so much for that. I still cherish that so much. All right, somebody says hello from Vietnam. Hello. Do I have any bleach statues, says the kid Nate. Uh, I do not, but I have some coming in, and my friend has a lot more that he's going to be sharing with the channel. Uh, you'll probably see a lot more Bleach statues come out the closer we get to Bleach coming back out as an anime. Pedro says, what's my least favorite statue? Uh, it's going to be right down here, and it's of Kaguya. <laughs> Who'd have known? <clears throat> See, what other animes would you like to collect? If I had a choice on other ones that I would collect, it would probably be Bleach ones. I think Bleach. Bleach, and then One Piece. One Piece tied with Dragon Ball Z, because Dragon Ball Z have some awesome statues. Let me tell you that. My favorite villain, Madara. I think Madara was the perfect villain. Why did he have to get taken out by Kaguya? I will never know. But Madara, he was one of the greatest villains. He was so evil when I think about it. What he did to to uh, to uh, Obito or Toby or you know, what you know, it's that was such the perfect villain when I think about it. Um, how he was behind the scenes and how everything's transpired and his goal and why he hated the world and what happened. I just, ugh, he was so perfect. I love it. Um, let's see. Nicholas says, do you read any manga? No, I do not. I pretty much stay to anime. I love manga. I appreciate it, but I don't usually read too much. Am I hyped for the Thousand Year Blood War arc for Bleach? Oh my gosh, yes. I can't wait. Uh, Kenpachi. Uh, I'm really releasing his Bankai. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for that. I do not watch any My Hero Academia yet, but it's on my list I've seen a few episodes up to like episode eight, but I haven't caught up with it all. Um, I wish I could. Sometimes I just don't have enough time. <clears throat> what would uh, what would Naruto be better with? Uh, Nagato's Rinnegan or Itachi Sharingan? Uh, probably the Rinnegan. I'd have to say that um, there's just no way you can top that. But Itachi's was strong. I have watched Boruto. I'm not watching it currently. Who said that? Um, J Bum Reap. Toby says, What clan would you like to be in? Like, for example, uh, Uzumaki, Uchiha. Um, probably Senju, right? Senju is one of the most overpowered. If I had a choice, it would be Senju. Mexican food or Chinese food? Brah, that's a hard question. I'm going to say Mexican food because I like burritos and you can hold them, right? Being able to hold your food like that, that's incredible. Uh, so I'm going to go with Mexican, but I do love me some Chinese food. 
True Anime God says, Kenny. Kenny is the best. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I think it was called Bon Kenny. Bon Kai Kenny. I used to play this game called Bleach Brave Souls, and they had all these characters. It was so fun to play. Uh, what do I think about Gara as the youngest Kage? I think he uh, deserved it greatly. I think he had a lot of great changes in his character. So... What's my favorite Japanese song? Huh. That is a fantastic question. Let me um let me open up. Let me open some music real quick and see if I can find it. It's gonna be a Naruto opening or like a full metal alchemist opening. Uh, but hardly do I will I remember their names. See Thoughts on Gundam model chips or model kits says Chill Cubes. I love them. I love Zoid's kits more, but I wish I had time to do model kits. I used to do them all the time, paint them very professionally. In fact, hold your britches. I'll be right back. And by the way, earlier I said hold your britches as in pants. I did not say a curse word. Sorry if that might have come out that way. Uh, but here is uh, one that I built. This is Shadow Fox, and this is one of my all-time favorite characters or Zoids units from that show. I love it. I custom painted this one all throughout, and uh, so that is indeed one of my favorites. I love it. You can chill hmm, right here. So good. I love it. see who won the model pop i don't know yet actually it's around nine o'clock and i haven't done that yet so let me jump over and see real quick so here's the deal on um, before i jump into the moderate giveaway he's not here i'm going to be ordering him and shipping them to the person's house uh, as long as they are within the united states if it's international i'll find a way to gift you something within the range of 30 to 40 dollars and but we'll go ahead and do this when I read the comment, it better have everything that I uh, I asked for, right? It's going to have the hashtag, and it's going to have you know somebody, you know who they were, and what their dream was. And so if it doesn't have that, I'm going to be cycling to a new one real quick. So I will be right back. Uh, Kevin said, "How do I win?" Um, it was announced in my community as well as the video uh, for Madara that I did in his Sage of Six Pass form. Uh, so. Uh, Chill Cube says, wait, there's a giveaway? Yeah, there's been, uh, there's multiple, there's been two giveaways. There's been giveaways for some pops, posters, and there's going to be a pretty decently expensive Madara pop that I give away. Uh, stay in touch with my community tabs that I have on my channel. Uh, check those. I'm always putting stuff out there and trying to talk with everybody and also in my videos. So this is not far from the last giveaway. There's going to be more giveaways on this channel, um, but I will, I will be back. I'm going to go and uh, jump over to a website that I'm going to be using to pick this. All right, so I'm picking this right here. It says, holy moly, 226 people commented on that for Madara. That's incredible. All right, so I'm going to select this right here, and it's going to say, it's going to pick a random winner, and you guys are going to see live who it's going to get. So I'm going to jump over, take a look myself. It says, a very greasy Uchiha. All right, so let's read this. You are the winner of the Madara uh, Funko Pop. Uh, and or, you know, again, if you live international, we'll work something else out if I can't. But they said, uh, Bam loves Madara, hashtag. Uh, my favorite character in Naruto is Obito. I love him because Obito really relates to me. I felt a heart to heart when we learned his backstory because it went through a depression after losing people special to me. Uh, I thought uh, like him and seeing him reminded me of him. His dream would be a dream in Konoha where he is with Rin and his team. He would also be the Hokage and see a world with true peace. Fantastic. That right there, that... That is uh, deserving of a giveaway. So many people commented. If I could give away, what was it, 240, 220? 240 moderators to everybody on the channel, I would. I wish that I could. I'm going to continue to try to give back to the channel as much as I can. Um, but the uh, if you want to go ahead and hit me up on social media, on YouTube when you can, please let me know. But let me jump in chat real quick. Whoa, what do we got going on here? We have Kalen Rozier. Welcome as a Jonine. Welcome so much to memberships. That's incredible. Thank you so much for joining. 
um, for trusting me with that. And I hope that we can continue to do some fun stuff for the channel and exclusively for you guys. Welcome to memberships. And what do we got? Let me see. Nicholas McDonald. Dude, what is this? Thank you so much for the $20 super chat. He says, I don't remember when I first saw your channel, but I do remember the video. Unboxing Zabuz's death. Been sub since. Also love seeing Singularly Workshop Studios Mike Guy behind you. Uh, fitting since I just got mine. Dude, congrats. I love talking with you on Instagram. I'm so happy uh, for you that you picked up. That is probably one of the greatest statues that I have ever seen in such a smaller form. So congrats on owning that. Thank you so much for the super chat and your support for the channel. It means so much. You guys are so generous and so incredible. I, I, let me tell you. So normally I like to make my live streams, you know, like an hour long. Um, but there's still, you know, 117 I'm showing now. There's still a bunch of people hanging out. So as long as you guys are going to be hanging out, let's uh, let's extend this another 30 minutes if you're down for it and see if I can't answer some questions. Say hi to some people that I might have missed and, uh, and we'll go ahead and keep this going. I've done the giveaways for now. So if you're here for a giveaway, you know, you're done for that for now. But we got more that will be coming up in the near future. Already, basically 52.5 thousand subscribers. I think I'm probably going to do another live stream before we hit the 60K. You let me know. Uh, this is my birthday month, and I, maybe I'll do like a birthday stream or something like that. We'll hang out for like an hour. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, but let me know. Uh, J Bummery says, I'll be hanging out. What's up, man? Who's this? Rishit the Big Boy says, what's your favorite Naruto Boruto arc? My favorite Naruto arc is the Pain Invasion arc. That's for Shippuden. For the original one, it's going to be the Sasuke Retrieval arc for sure. Either that or the Chunin exams. Chunin exams are pretty amazing. Banana Man says, you're such a nice guy. Duh, thank you so much. Hi, hello, please notice Prophet Isaiah Fortich. Hello, please notice me. I know if I can, I'm going to say hi, hello. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. T3 to Uchiha says, I lost the giveaway, but I still love you, Bam. So I'm going to say congrats to Greasy and his awesome <laughs> awesome pop. Uh, we're going to be doing more. If you lost, I, it's not about losing. It's about celebrating who won. And uh, again, I wish I could give back to everybody as much as I can, but you know it's limited. I am not a ridiculously rich dude. See, Banana says, happy birthday month. Woohoo! I love July. July is such a fun month. What's my favorite anime? Naruto. Well, I, you know, it's going to be weird to say this. You know, people would see me. I'm, I'm a Naruto fan. Full Metal Alchemist is tied with Naruto being my favorite. So it is. It's a series I deeply connected with. Me and my brother love it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so my birthday is towards the uh, towards the end of the month, mid to end of the month-ish. So it's not coming up too soon. Very close to J-Bums for sure. See, hey, Bam, I'm out of battery. Hey, you're out of battery. Keep doing... Thank you so much for joining. Sorry your battery's dying. I have to always make sure I charge mine or it's going to it's gonna go. But thanks for joining, uh, M. Kwan. I wish I could learn how to make sure I pronounce that correctly. Make sure you contact me and tell that. So, I Kwan, M. I Kwan. Anyway, have a good night. Do a seven-hour birthday stream. Holy moly. That would be intense. Whoa. What do we got here? Beastie Boy coming in with the $4.99 super chat. Thank you so much, Beastie Boy. Love your channel. Love your attitude. Keep up the amazing work. Got to go. Happy wife. Happy life. Uh, but don't forget uh, to pray for that guy's mom. Absolutely. Uh, we'll do that. That is absolutely important. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for joining stream, having me on your giant 4K TV, which I hope is not broken. Uh, but thank you so much, Beastie Boy. And let's see. What is your favorite Toad Summon? Ooh, uh, I think my favorite one was that one that lacked a lot of confidence and he was always saying how clumsy he was. Uh, I... I kind of felt like I connected with him, right? I kind of feel like him in some ways, like, oh, I'm not the greatest, but I'll do my best kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I think if I could connect with anybody, it would be that. So, oh man, I love, those super chats are so cool to see up top there. Thank you so much for the support, uh, both Nicholas and Beastie Boy up there. Thanks again. You guys are amazing. K 
Kevin says, how much do I love Power Rangers? I love it a lot. That was one of the first TV shows I ever grew up with. Some of my uh, most uh, favorite toys that I owned were Power Rangers. And me and my brother, you know, as grown-ups, we kind of grown to you know, be in love with it as well. So uh, it's Power Rangers means a lot to me. Caleb says, I'm your favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much, so much. <clears throat> Who in here have I not answered anything for? Um, Manhawk2006, when is the giveaway being announced? It's already been done. You'll have to catch it in the replay, my friend. Uh, Jay says, which was your 900 signing statue? It's the one that you're using the emojis for. It's definitely, uh, it's going to be none other than Jiraiya. So. <laughs> Sorry, guys, my nose is a bit itchy. Thanks for the happy early birthday. Uh, what's the most incredible detail you've seen on a statue, Girl Power asks. It was Kuzan Aokiji, the One Piece statue that I recently showcased, and it was the LEDs on that statue. They are unlike anything I've ever seen on a statue. Uh, so check that out if you haven't. That was incredible. All right, checking in some chat. Just got any questions. AJ on fire. Would you like a Naruto style? Uh, DB fighter game. Yeah, I would love it. I think that would be amazing to have that. I love the... Um, I guess that would be cool. Those are side by side while Ninja Storm is more like distance. So it's like a difference between like this, fighting like that. So yeah, I see how it is. JT Stobel coming in with the 499 Super Chat. Thanks for... Uh, that's, that's for... <laughs> sorry, I can't read. That's for a great channel. Thank you so much. I could not ask for a better subscriber base to make videos for. Awesome people like you supporting the channel, not only in comments, in super chats, and spending your time here with me. Thank you so much. You all make it worth it. Every single one of you make it so much fun. Make it worth it. Uh, let's see, T32 Uchiha says, Do you think Sakura is as bad as people say? I do not think so. All right, Sakura was a character that was not focused on enough. I think she could have been developed more. Um, I, So it's not her fault. You know, if she's as bad as people say she is, it's not her fault. I think she had a lot of potential, and uh, she just didn't get the spotlight as much as other people did. Uh, but no, I don't think she's as bad as, as people say that she is. Uh, HS says, I wish I, wish I could super chat. That means enough right there. Thank you so much. Let's see, DNE Gaming says, "Do I know why there's there aren't many Full Metal uh, sorry Full Metal Alchemist statues out there?" Yes, I do know why. Full Metal Alchemist is a European uh, themed anime, and so a lot of what dictates the popularity of a statue being made is most of the sales happen in China or Asian countries, and so because Full Metal Alchemist is more European themed instead of you know Asian themed. They don't sell as well, so they're just not created as much. That's why the company that made the first Full Metal Alchemist statue uh, was actually in France. So anyway, that's what I think. I'm not going to say that's the truth, but that's my thoughts on that. That's interesting. Who says, all homies known in pain, please answer, who is your favorite Kage besides Naruto? It is Toby Rama, the second ho the second Hokage. That is my favorite one, even though he's got some... Uh, some yeah. Some issues against uh, certain clans. I think I love his character, his jutsus, but Let's see what is uh, what if what if there was uh, Minato Naruto previous generation instead of Boruto next generation? I would love that if they did that. That is such a great idea, JJ Guzman. Raul Manzo says, "Do you have a Discord? I have a Discord for Kage's." But I need to kind of get in touch with uh, my Kage members and see what they want to do with it. But I don't have a general Discord because that's too much for me to manage. So I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't have that. Matthew Pace. Awesome question. What character other than Sakura would you have liked to see more development in? I... Hmm... Probably characters like Shino and Kiba, uh, Rock Lee. Neji got a decent amount probably, but yeah, Rock Lee, Kiba, Shino. I think I'm going to go with that. 
I'm sick of Toby Rama and Trump memes. I haven't seen any and don't want to see any. Don't mix politics in my favorite show. That would not be fun. Hey, just a thank you kiss on here. I think I missed you before. My favorite Hokage is Toby Rama. Love it. Who is your favorite Kakashi dog? Uh it's it's I gotta go with Pakun. I gotta go. Pakun is so funny. So Pakun's right here, and it's pretty cool on this statue. He actually just uh dangles off of uh Zabuza's headband. Um, but definitely Pakun. I'm gonna have to go with that. And all right. Banana Man says, who is my favorite female character in Naruto? <sighs> Tie between Tamari and Hinata. Yeah, probably Tamari. She's my favorite. Prophet says, do I have a Neji statue? I have one coming in in the next two to three weeks. Can't wait. Who's my favorite Uzumaki? Gotta go with Naruto, man. Gotta go with Naruto. Although Kushin is pretty cool. 90% battery, ramen, and my favorite figure with me, so I'll be here for a long. Chill Cubes, what's your favorite uh, favorite figure with you? I'd like to hear that. What's your favorite figure? Let me hear. If you in the Naruto world, what character would I want to be? I would want to be Konkuro. Yeah, I don't know. Zabuza? Con no, Zabuza, he died. Konkuro, that's what I want to be. What's your favorite Keke Genkai? It is... Oof, that's tough. Haku Kimimaru. What's your favorite? If you had to choose between the two, would you choose the ice or the bone? I'm probably going to go with ice. Haku. Adam says, got to go by. See you, Adam. Adam Stigger. Jerry Sanchez. Favorite uh, bijou. Hmm. Goku and Roshi were my favorite. So I'm probably going to have to go with that. Love it. Do I like sadness and sorrow music? Not usually. You know, during certain times I would, but not usually. Why they do Yamato like that in the war? I don't know, man. You know, that's another character that could have been developed more. I guess he got a lot of screen time, but you're right. What if, what if Orochimaru infused Momoshiki with Madara and then destroyed the world? That is dark. But anything to uh, dethrone Kaguya, I'd be for. Kalem says, Bone Jutsu... Yeah, it's tough. Haku or Kimimaru. Those two Kiki Genkais were awesome. I like the I, I like Haku just cause the bone one is kind of disgusting. <laughs> that's so true. Anytime you do that, when he pulls out his spine and the noises that it makes, that's true. I guess it regenerates immediately, but if I could pick a Susano, which or what would you pick? I think you mean of the existing ones. And I'm going to go with uh, Shisui's Ogre one. That's what I'm going to choose. That'd be awesome. Favorite hidden village? I... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I could pick that one. What If you had to pick, which one would yours be if you had to pick a favorite hidden village? I can't say I exactly have one. Who would you pick, though? Somebody says, I wish Zabuza was brought back. Well, he was. He had a second chance. I think it was good. So we'll go with that. If you have Sharingan, what shape would you want to? And the power. Alvin, that is a deep question. I don't know if I could think about that. Um, it would be in the shape of... Let's go with like a square one. A square based. And what would its power be? Huh. I don't know if I can answer that. All right, I'm jumping to something over here. Uh, Pranav says, you like Monkey King Enma? I love Monkey King Enma. Somebody make an amazing statue of him. Somebody did make one, but it's it's not mine. But uh, what would you want to be? What would you want your summoning animal? Uh, animal and which chakra nature is your favorite? Just a fan geek ass. So summoning animal, actually, it's I know it seems dull because I, I just said it and we talked about it, but I would want it to be uh, monkey themed. I've always loved monkeys since I was a kid. Uh, I told myself when I grew up I'd want to get like a chimpanzee or something. Hasn't happened yet, but it would be amazing if I could. Who says... 
Can I have a Minato Pop? Um, that's coming out, right? Minato Pop isn't made, but it's coming out in the near future. Let me know. We'll have to do some giveaways for him if we uh, if we have one on the channel. Do you think? Uh, see, who do you think would win in a Hokage fight? Well, who who are they up against? Tell me that. The village hidden in the sand, for true anime god. I'm talking so much, my mouth gets so dry. Do a Itachi Susano statue. Ben Hoff said, man, check out my videos from like two months ago, three months ago. I did an incredible Surge Studio waist up armored Itachi Susano statue. Check that out. It was uh, one of my most enjoyable videos. Ooh, favorite Full Metal Alchemist character and why Roy? <laughs> uh, favorite Full Metal Alchemist character. Hmm. Probably um, Lieutenant Armstrong. He's probably my, my favorite. Edward Elric. <laughs> I used to love him. So I probably, he's probably my favorite just because he's lighthearted. Mustang because he is a bad mamma jamma. Love him. There's a custom pop for Minato. I think there's going to be an official one coming out in the near future. If you're Naruto and use sexy jutsu, who who want do you want to be? I I would not use that because I'm a married guy and I love my wife. Do you like Madara's Susano? I love it. What other uh, showcase YouTubers do you want to collab with? Somebody asked. I. I have a collaboration coming later this month, probably, um, but I don't know if there's any other YouTubers in the United States that I'd want to collab with that do like statue unboxings. Uh, who, who do you know that, that I'd want to collab with, I guess, but there's not many people I feel that, that do it. Uh, Gem Mint Collectibles is also an awesome guy uh, that I'd love to do a collaboration with, but hope that answers a little bit. I know you sell trade statues to fund your collecting and all, but do you have any off-limit statues one you would never part with. Boom! Right here. These two directly behind me. All right. This guy, this Kakashi. Man, those are, are some of my all-time favorites. There's also a few other ones. There's Pain. Um, let's see. My Zabuza one over here. But yeah, there's definitely some uh, some ones that I would not part with. Somebody says, where, where can I buy cheap Dragon Ball Z statues? I don't know if you could buy a cheap statue, period. Depends on your definition of cheap. But... Just a thing, you says, are you going to show some more Pokemon statues? You can bet. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have like 10 or 15 statues I have to do for Pokemon in the near future. Nara Clan or Abarami Clan? Uh, we're going to go with Abarami. I'm kind of tired, man. Going to, going to sleep. See you later, BH. Have a good night. Thanks for joining for the chat. Sticking up. I know you stay up really late. Do you like horror games or horror movies? I do not, actually. I don't enjoy horror movies. I enjoy ones that are more like psychological a little bit, but like the gore and the violent stuff, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's not enjoyable. Um, how do you get notified when your statues are coming out? Average Good Gamer says, I check websites. Uh, I would check One Piece Collector. I would check uh, Favor GK, Games Animation, uh, Collectibles, and uh, then also Dreams of Anime. Check their websites. That's what I do. Gem, Jay says, Gem Mint, I, I chat with Gem Mint you know, every once in a while, and he's a, such a great guy, so I look forward to hopefully doing a collab with him in the near future. And do you think your child will share in your love for statues uh, with me? It's really hard to say because uh, she is a girl, but um, I try to introduce them and show them to her you know, all the time now. Will she like them when she grows up? I hope so. If she just likes collectibles outright, I think I'll, I'll do. That'll be amazing to do that. Uh, who's my favorite? Uchiha, Kalem says. It is Itachi. Absolutely. No doubt. Itachi is one of my favorite characters of all times. Is that... Luxus Prime says, is that Shadow Fox? Yes. Oh my gosh, I showed him off earlier. I was uh, talking about Zoids and Zoids kits and how I used to build them. This is my favorite kits. I've almost sold all my Zoids kits to a really good friend of mine, but I kept this one because it's one of my favorite all time. Love it. 
Crave coming in with them Zabaza emojis. Whoop, whoop. Kakashi or Guy and the reason. Uh, Guy, because I think that he is nearly unstoppable unless he's facing someone like Madara. But even that of Kakashi, I don't think could have stopped him. Where would you like to travel if you won the lottery? I would like to go to, to probably Japan. That would be an incredible experience to go to Japan. Uh, maybe one day I'll get to do it. I don't know. Uh, if I do, I'm definitely going to do a vlog of it. But I would go to J Japan if I could. Uh, that's tough. A Aiden, I'd love to answer that. But I I'd probably take me too long to figure it out. If you made a jutsu, what, what would you name it? I don't, I don't know. It would take me too long to come up with that answer. It's a good, good question, though. Um, if if you're a shinobi, who would be your sensei? Jiraiya, all day, every day. Crave says, if we're celebrating, we taking shots? Man, I hate to tell you, I'm not a big drinker. Never really have been. Uh, so there's a reason behind that. Um, but I'm not sure I will uh, will share that. Maybe I will one day. But there's a reason. I, I'm not a big drinker. I'm not a big drinker. But I will take a shot of water for you. Who's your go-to character in Storm 4? I probably... Um, I think I enjoyed Hashirama. That was probably my go-to for that. Bam, uh, Bam, you have to visit Shinobi no Sato. What is that? I would like to know what that is. Uh, I would have liked it if if uh, if Guy had beaten Madara. Uh, they should have had just let him have win. I don't know. It wouldn't have been great. I think it was. I think he did good. Um, if it, that was the end of the series, I don't know about that. But. All right, so it is 9.24 in my time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and head out around 9.30 in six minutes. I will, if you have any other questions, anything you want to talk about, uh, go ahead and hit me up. But again, I'm always available in my videos. If you have any questions, hit me up. Don't hesitate. It. For those that have stuck around for almost an hour to an hour and a half, thank you so much uh, for doing so. It's been a, a fun time. We will do this again very soon. And I appreciate everybody who's been here to celebrate 50K subscribers, onward to 60K and beyond. No, Kurama! Ugh, hopefully it's fine. Yeah, it's good. No breakages. All right. AJ on fire says, what's your favorite storm game? It was the first one. I loved it because it was like an open world where you could travel around the village. That was one of my favorite games. Do you, uh, do you like soul eater? It's not that I don't like it. I've never watched it. I've heard great things about it. Isolation. Looking forward to your next, uh, live stream. Thank you so much for joining isolation and supporting this one. I've uh, been enjoyable to hang out with everybody. I've been here from the beginning and love the whole stream. Toby, thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad that you did. I look forward to it for sure. <laughs> Vivek says F in chat. <laughs> Freaking crumb. You know what it is? I'm shaking. As I'm typing, I'm kind of like shaping my table too much. Um, I stuck around since the beginning. Chill Cubes, BH. Everybody's still in here. <clears throat> what tail beast would you tame if I could? Uh, it would be Goku for sure. Or Roshi. I'm going to mix it up. Sorry. Uh, Steve Collections. Yes, you did miss the giveaways. Uh, but I will. you're going to have the replay so you can check that. Um, I, I mean, I hate to say it. You didn't win. But, uh, but somebody else did. But yes, giveaways have been done. Did I cry when Jiraiya died? Yes, I did. I am inherently and naturally somewhat of a crybaby uh, to certain emotional times like that. So yes. Yes, I did. Same with Asuma. Um, so... Yeah, that was rough. Somebody cut an onion in that room for sure. <clears throat> Let me see. Callum says, what's my favorite jutsu? Puppet jutsu, baby. Puppet jutsu. Um, NZY77, what's your favorite Mizukage? I don't really... I can't say that I have a favorite Mizukage. I mean, May is pretty good, but... I don't really have a favorite Mizukage, if I can be honest with you. I don't really have one specifically. Spider on the wall says, do you remember me? Yes, I remember you. I try to make it a point to remember everybody if I can, especially if you comment on my videos. I'll always try to. 
see. How have you don't uh, have you don't the other Funko Pops to your left? Um, I have I have a I have a bunch of others. I have a lot of Funko Pops that are sitting here. Uh, anyway, I'll show those off another time. Matthew says, who didn't ball when Jariah and Asuma died? <laughs> yes, I cried so hard when Asuma died. I'm glad I'm not alone. JT, somebody cut the onions, man. BH says, nice beard. Thank you so much. I have had a beard for since I was 18 years old. I can't seem to shave it. Although I did during the beginning of quarantine, I accidentally shaved like a whole piece of it off. It was crazy. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Hey, Bam, I don't have social media except YouTube, Mr. Boy says. That's okay. Um, real quick, let me see. If you could be a tailed beast, um, did you decide a status? Okay, did you decide which statue you want me to draw? <laughs> no, I haven't decided. So the reason I'm taking so long is I think I want you to draw the Zabuza that's coming in in three weeks, and that's why... I've waited to see how many parts it comes in to get you to do that. So probably three or four weeks I'll be in contact with you, uh, just a fan geek. Anyway, before we go, it's uh, two minutes left. And Mr. Boy, at the beginning, if I recall, said that he's going through a hard time. And his mother um, was, was um, I believe, ill or sick. And so we, he asked for prayer for her. And I want to be sure that we do kind of have a moment where we do that. So uh, for them, I, I just want to say, you know, God, be there for the individual behind the username of Mr. Boy who's having a hard time. His mother's not feeling well. I pray that you would be with him, the family, and, uh, and I pray, God, healing or helping them walk through that sickness as it happens. And so, God, I pray that you would be with him, that family, and give them strength to walk through everything it's going through. And I wish you well for that. You know, it's not easy to walk through, but hang in there for your family for sure. That's important. And I'm so sorry to hear, um, but just keep on keeping your head up, Mr. Boy. All right. So let's see. I hope she's fine. Anyway, I am. Uh, we, we're a minute out. There's a lot of questions. I'm going to say this towards the end of this. There's a lot of questions I missed, and there's some people that I did not get to say hi to. None of that's personal. I wish I could shake your hand, give you a high five, and meet, talk to every single one of you uh, that I didn't get to. This won't be the last time we do this. There will be others, and I hope to catch you on another time. I really greatly look forward to it. Uh, who says, did moderate giveaway end? Yes, the moderate giveaway has been done. All right. Let's see, who's your favorite music? Okay. That is all for now. It is 9.30. I wish everybody good night. I'll see you around the channel. I'm working on some uh, awesome unboxings in the near future and some awesome collaborations that are going to be done. Thank you all to who did Super Chats tonight, my new members of the channel. I look forward to seeing you and interacting with everybody. And uh, for now, I'm just going to say have a good night. Uh, do what you love and love what you do, everybody. Bam out.